everybody. Uh, my name is Olivia Archer and I'm the creator of Bizango Blast and Bizango Blast Free. Today I'm going to show you the first 10 levels of Bizango Blast Free and how to beat them without destroying any of the eggs. This is just to give you a walkthrough and to show you how the game has changed a bit. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is put the game on easy mode because on easy mode uh, the camera will follow the cannon up, down, left, right, making it much easier to aim. A hard mode, the camera stays fixed and doesn't follow the cannon, so it's kind of like a third person thing. It's really good if you want to practice visualizing trajectories and stuff like that. Uh, if you play baseball or want to improve your accuracy, that helps uh, mentally in, in letting you visualize stuff. Anyways, here's the first level. Um, it's just with a single monster, no eggs yet. I uh, use the arrows to move left and right. And you have the fire button, which fires the ball. And then you have your ammo around it. You got six shots per uh, level. So for this level, uh, we could either just attack the monster directly and kill him. But that would give us less points than if we were to just try and destroy the entire structure with one ball, if we can. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and aim for the middle uh, and try and get the ball to hit it in the base and hopefully cause everything to fall down. Ah, a bit too high. Ah, more or less. Now for stage 2, uh, we have an egg, so try not to hit that. Uh, the first monster is easy to hit, you could just lob a ball and it will just roll and hit him and hopefully hard enough to kill him. Or if you're feeling brave, you can try and launch a really fast one, make it bounce off the, first, the one on the ground and hit the top. Actually, let's try that, see if we can do that, if I'm good enough. And then... Uh, Ah. ah, sweet. There we go. If I had done that on hard mode, that would have been uh, three stars. See, that's the cool thing about this game. There are so many different possibilities. Uh, you can attack the level any way you want. Alright, everybody. So this is level three. This one's a bit of a tricky one because um, the structure is supporting the eggs in a very interesting way. If you look on top, uh, you can see that the two urchins are standing on platforms and the platforms are kind of sandwiched between two other platforms which are supporting the eggs. So if those platforms get destroyed, the eggs come down. For this level, what I like to do is I like to aim for this guy first and hopefully uh, the force that he gets hit with will knock the other guys down. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. Ooh, alright, so I made the situation a bit more complicated, but that's okay. Let's try and get this guy without hitting the structure. So far, so good. Now, you get the last one. Use the same amount of power as last time, if you remember. And... Voila! This one's a bit of a... challenge not to get the eggs, but it's quite fun. Welcome to level 4. As you can see, this one's a bit different than the others because uh, all the urchins are up on little towers, well, very thin towers, and so are the eggs. What makes this one a bit more challenging than the others is that if you hit the towers the wrong way, they might collapse and fall onto, on top of the eggs. So you have to find a way to hit them that makes them fall backwards and away from the egg. I'll get the easy one first, just to start things off. To get these, what I usually like to do is um, try to hit the pole itself. So I get to make sure that the uh, yeah 
Yeah, so I think I got it. I'm doing it on the emulator, so I don't have the precision. Ooh, 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 yeah. That one was the first one, but didn't get the egg. Alright, last one. I think I'll just get him. So, the fifth level and the final one that I'm going to be showing for this walkthrough. Uh, this level is kind of like the other one, well it's like very similar to the other one, except it's a little bit harder because the towers of the urchins are closer to the eggs. But, this is the first level in the Zango Blast 3 where you get the um, down blast power. And I'll show you how it works and it makes this level a bit easier. Uh, the down blast, after you shoot, you'll get a little icon where the fire button is, and then when you press and hold that down, the ball uh, will, form, will have a laser showing you where it will go once you release it. And it's very good for aiming and getting those tricky shots. Yeah, I like that. Ah, 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 so close! Good. Yeah, gosh. And then, alright, let's get the other bad boy. You can see your eyes. Right in the mouth. And also, time slows down while you're doing it, so you can have time to aim and do what you need to do. Alright, last one. He doesn't really pose a problem to the eggs. It's really a problem when he, um... When something bounces and hits it. That could be annoying. Yay. So, this concludes, uh, the, um walk through for the first five levels. If there's interest, I will do the other levels. And I could also do the Zango Blast levels if anybody's interested. I didn't do too well for this, but uh, let's see if you can do better than me. At least now you know how to uh, beat the levels. They weren't that hard, but you know a few of the tricks that I was uh, planning for you guys. Alright, so enjoy, have fun. On the App Store, download it for free. If you want more levels, there's Bizango Blast. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Uh. Not what I was expecting, but that works. Oh, the egg is moving. Oh. what we want to avoid. But a little bit harder. So what I like to do is trying to get... Um, yeah, not that. 